Good morning, students. We are now in our moral science class, the weekly affair, say once a week. Valuable things, special things are not available always, only on special days. So we are here for a special study on a special day. When I started looking at these titles, Sub Jagadish Chandra Bose in the Moral Science book, I had a question. What the scientist has to do with the moral science or social values? If it was at least in the comprehension book, I would have agreed. There are great characters, figures, personalities in the comprehension book as a text word to us. But why this? personality is given the moral sense book. I got the full answer now. He was not a scientist only. He was more than a scientist or a human being. He was a role model. He was a sage, a holy man or a guru to many of us in teaching about life and its meaning. Now let's proceed. In the previous classes we saw six subheadings uh, sub divided by me for better learning. Let's recap. Introduction, what is birth, early life, school and the life in the family, love for the poor, especially by his parents, his love for nature, for the farmers, stars, fishermen, then his scientific achievements, researches, then comes his higher studies abroad. Okay. Then now we have the seventh title, his simple life and hard work. So one popular example for his simplicity, not in simple way of dressing, eating alone. Surely you have had it. But simple in thinking, social thinking, not very sophisticated, high fee social thing. Want to become a chief minister, prime minister, popularity, name, fame, money, wealth. He just wanted to dedicate his life to the humanity for the cause of science, for the cause of the poor, for the cause of the welfare of the society. So his thing was very simple. It's simple we say because it is not complicated, it's not very glaring. One example, many scientists of his time were Claiming for patent right. Patent right is to say that this is mine, property right like. This uh, patent of doing, uh, inventing is mine. Nobody can claim it. So anything based on this technology, methodology, will be owned by me. They have to pay me, money making. And he said, I am not interested in money. I just share my knowledge. That's what he said. So he is a great man of simplicity. <clears throat> now let's go to next topic. Is research in the institute called Davy Faraday in England. Only Europeans supported him. Poor Indians did not recognize his work, did not support him in any way. So, then he proved it was a modern equipped uh, laboratory. So, he had many facilities. He proved that plants have life. They undergo pain, they die, they are affected by the nature, environment, climate pollution, all this. 
So what did he do? He said, I'm going to inject here. That's another story here, followed by that. Next item. He injected a poisonous injection into a plant. And he said it will die because it has got life. And he didn't die. Everybody was surprised, wondering. He himself was shocked. Then he said, if the plant does not die, taking this poison, I also will not die. So he wanted to inject himself. So somebody from the audience rose up and said, sorry sir, I mixed a color water that I kept to color water instead of poison. And he said, okay. Then he injected a poison to the plant and he died. And he said it has life, it affects, poison affects the plants also, not only the human being. So the pollution can affect surely the plants, trees. We don't have rare species uh, plants today because of this polluted environment, we are killing them. So already in 80s, 90s he proved it, okay, that's the great work. So then next item is establishment of an institute in Calcutta, Bose Institute of Research. You see, he was so mm, generous, kind, broad-minded. He shared the money that he got from all his research pursuits with other scientists. Ultimately, he found an institute in the city of Calcutta. He found difficulty going in other places abroad. But he said, let me do something for my country, for my city. So he put up an institute there, which is being used even today by research scholars and students for physics and botany. What a great man of vision associate thinking, thinking about the future society. He had very many difficulties to go abroad and do things, but he facilitated the younger generation. Are we making use of it? They are so lazy to get up to the house to buy some things in the shop. We will ask the parents to go. So what a moral value he can give us, and hard work. He said, I don't want money, power, wealth, popularity. I want to commit or dedicate myself to work, to science. So this is the spirit that we should have. Now, last item, not least, in 1937, he died, giving his life for the welfare of humanity and the whole. So these are the values that we can learn. A man from birth to death causing his everything for the sake of when we say science, science is for the good of the society. It's not to just facilitate our um, life, modernity, technology. See, he was interested in um, botany, nature. So all this we should remember. It's not misuse science. We should help the whole universe bloom. That's the great value we learn from Jagadish Chandra Bose, all the best. Thank you.